In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your tables here in Google Sheets. Now, when I talk about the tables, I'm talking about the pre-built tables that has been a recent and great update here in Google Sheets. So in my existing data right here, I'm going to convert this into a table. So what I'm going to do is to select it, then go to format and select convert to table. Once I click on it, there is our table. So here in our table, we can do a lot of things and you can definitely customize this into your own liking. We have our table name right here, our table menu and our views. So for the first part, let's try and rename this table right here. You can just select that, erase it and rename it. So we're going to name it top companies. If I press enter, it will tell me that the table name contains invalid characters. Table names can only contain letters, numbers, can't start with a digit or have a space. So what I did there was I placed the space in between the, the first and the second word, which it doesn't allow. So what I'm going to do is to just remove that space right there. Now, if I press enter, it has accepted that name because again, it doesn't contain special characters or spaces. So that's how to rename your table. Now, if we go to the table menu right here, that's your arrow down. If we click on it, here are our options. So we have the rename table, which we've already done. Now we also have the adjust table range. So we can definitely do that. If we want to add more information right here, let's say I'm going to add another company name right here and it will adjust it. But let's say I'm going to add it in this space. If I press it, it will not be included in my table. It will not adjust it to that space because of the space in between. But if I do go to the table menu and adjust the table range, here I can change the range by deleting this last digit and putting in the number of the row right there. So I can put it in D19, press enter, and there we have it. We've included that new information into our table. Next one, our table menu would be our turn off alternating colors. So as you notice in our table right here, we have alternating colors of white and a very light gray. If we turn it off, it will just be plain white. If we turn it back on, there it is. Next one, we have customized table colors. For this one, it's actually just for the color of our table name right here and our headers. So if we click on that, here are the colors that we can select or we can also customize the one that we like. So we can customize it. Let's say we want it to be on this shade of the red color. And if you're satisfied with that, you'll see it right here. Click on OK and it will be applied to your headers and to your table name right here. Next one, we have our revert to unformatted data. If we click on this, this is what it's going to look like. It's not even going to include the borders that we've added before we converted it into a table. And finally, we have delete table. So if you just want to get rid of this table, you have no use for it anymore. Just click on that and everything will disappear. So that's for our table menu. What about the drop downs for our headers? Basically, these are the same options that you have for each of these drop downs. You have the option of editing your column type. Now, depending on what information or data you have within these columns, you can select them to be converted into this format, have them in number, percent, currency, have them in plain text, in date, date time, or just time be it a drop down, a checkbox, or some smart chips where you can tag people, a file, finance, place, and rating. Or like this one, we can have it selected into no format at all, or just in plain text. Next one, we have our sorter column. You can definitely sort your column if you want it to be in ascending order, descending order, sorted by color or text color. But since our texts or our cells are not colored, you won't be able to sort them in that way. And next one, we have your filter column. Again, have them sorted or filtered in any way you like. Once you're done, just click on OK. Next one in our drop down for our columns, we have group by column. 
For this one, it's basically the same as our views right here, where you can create a group by view with this headers as your options or create your filter view. Let's say we're going to insert one table column to the right. There it is. Now in the last option, if you don't need that column, you can just delete it. And there you have it. So those are the basic steps in customizing your tables on however you need them to be here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.